then it was time to open up my own little place here in New York. I had already a subtitle that said design for the music industry and we really concentrated on that. We did design a whole lot of projects for Lou Reed who of course just passed away and he was the first big client and definitely one of the clients that we got to know very well and we worked with him really well and I think did some of our best work with him. I would also credit Laurie Anderson for that because Laurie was never part of the meetings but he definitely always showed it to Laurie and then I got a phone call the next day saying how great it is even if he was sometimes not that excited about it in the meeting himself. One of the early well-known pieces that we had done was a lecture poster for a talk in Detroit where I had cut all the particulars with an exacto knife in my skin. I tried to cut it but couldn't and then the intern actually wound up cutting it. It took much, much longer than I had anticipated. It also hurt much worse than I had anticipated. Part of this quest to bring my own personality into the work manifested itself in designing sentences that came out of my diary that I had jotted down very quickly under a list called things I've learned in my life so far, like everything I do always comes back to me, or trying to look good limits my life, and then created pieces out of them that lived in spaces that are normally reserved for advertising. Over the years, we did roughly 30 in all sorts of forms all around the world, from making a sentence out of coins and letting that lie in a plaza in Amsterdam to a big ball made with green and yellow bananas. And so it came and went depending on the writing circles of the banana. Since quite a while, I've been somewhat interested in this subject of happiness. The idea was, is there a possibility to take a more direct way to pursue it and make a documentary film about that pursuit? And so we've been working on this film for the last three and a half years. One of the funner things in doing design for the music industry is you're sitting in meetings with some of people you always wanted to meet rather than just with some marketing director. We did one cover for the Stones, Bridges to Babylon. They literally sent Keith Richards' limo driver to pick me up to the Four Seasons Hotel where, of course, they had the biggest suite you've ever seen. And it was just Mick Jagger and Charlie Watts looking through a Christie's catalog, if I recall, at some Manet painting. And I remember Jagger saying something like, hmm, look at this Manet at 3.5. It's a real bargain. Pity I don't have any white space left on my wall. And there was sort of a sunset going on outside and I just felt like I'm the Rolling Stone meet the band radio contest big winner. I actually asked Jagger what his favorite Stones covers are. And he had said, Excel on Main Street, some girls and sticky fingers. And I truthfully could say that we're going to have an easy time working together because I would have picked the same three, but I would have exchanged to order. And then Charlie Watts leans over to Mick Jagger and asks, what's on Sticky Fingers? And Jagger had to tell him, you know, that's the one with the zipper, the one that Andy did. 